Denmark's prime minister says Greenland is not for sale, even though President Trump admits he did discuss the idea of buying the Danish territory. The prime minister's word for the conversation, absurd. But Mr. Trump said he does consider the Danes to be very good allies nonetheless. Greenla Greenland, meanwhile, is also the focus of scientists. And in this morning's Eye on Earth, we're learning more about the challenges facing the huge island. Its ice sheet is melting six times faster now than in the 1980s. This month alone, it lost 11 billion tons of surface ice in just one day, enough to fill more than 4 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. Seth Doan is there. Summer came earlier this year and is expected to last longer. Greenlanders say they've seen more extreme weather and fishermen are catching warmer water fish. They're living climate change here and scientists have come from around the world to study why. NASA built its reputation on exploring the unknown, but its scientists on this mission fly at an altitude of just hundreds of feet, probing the depths not of space, but the sea. Each one of these has an instrument package that tells us the temperature and the saltiness of the water. Josh Willis of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is in year four of a five-year research project he designed. We joined Saturday on a nearly seven-hour flight covering more than 800 miles. Drop, drop, drop. Close away. They're dropping drop, probes drop, into the ocean drop, drop, drop. to understand how the waters around Greenland are warming and contributing to the melting of glaciers. We usually think of Greenland's ice as sort of an ice cube with a hairdryer on it. But in fact, that ice cube is sitting in a pot of water too, and the water is warming up as well. And the two things together can combine to create sea level rise that happens much more rapidly than we originally anticipated. Willis named his program Oceans Melting Greenland. Its acronym, OMG, was no mistake. He says humankind should be surprised and pay attention. Big picture, what does all of this mean? Well, it means Greenland's melting. There's enough ice in Greenland to raise sea levels by 25 feet worldwide. Now, we don't think it'll happen right away, but just how fast it does is something we're trying to figure out with OMG. The icy environment can make it tough to drop the probes, but does offer some perks, stunning scenery. This feels like a remote place, but <laughs> what is happening here has a real impact to average Americans. Well, that's right. We all live with one ocean. So a billion tons of ice lost here in Greenland means higher sea levels in Florida, California, New York, even as far as Australia. So far, these missions have shown them how sensitive these glaciers are to the ocean. They've also produced a better map of the sea floor, which allows them to gauge which glaciers are under threat. The answer, more than they thought. For CBS This Morning, Seth Doan, Kulusuk. Greenland. All right, Seth. OMG certainly gets you. Gets what does point the o across. OMG stand for in this Oceans place? melting Greenland. Yeah, yeah, both apply. OMG and OMG. I OMG got it. Could be trouble. Nicely done.